Almost 1 billion people around the world don't have access to critical resources due to an impassable river. These communities are one bridge away from healthcare, schooling, and employment opportunities. Bridges create connections. In February of 2022, the National Steel Bridge Alliance sent a team of nine volunteers to Rwanda to help Bridges to Prosperity complete the construction of the Munini Trail Bridge. My name is Jason Lloyd. I'm the manager of Bridge and Infrastructure Solutions for Nucor Corporation, the National Steel Bridge Alliance, which organizes a project every year partnering with B2P, bringing together groups of consultants, fabricators, and engineers from different departments of transportation uh, to put together a build team to go somewhere in the world and, and build a bridge. Uh, what motivated me was uh, the idea of being able to help build a bridge for a community that's remote and doesn't have access to, you know, the normal things that I have access to where I live. Here we actually get to be hands-on, which is really exciting, and to know that we're helping the community build this structure that will be here for years. The people are so generous and kind and full of life. I love seeing the children's bright eyes and smiles as we wave to them driving down the road. Um, all of those things have just brought me joy. It's been great hosting nine volunteers from the United States from NSBA. Uh, they came to help us build a bridge in Guanghua sector in Vigugu. Uh, the purpose of this bridge is to connect 2,600 community members to healthcare, market, and education. I design bridges, that's, that's my profession, so I, I typically do traffic bridges, so this is the first time to work on a pedestrian type bridge, uh, and the first time to work on a suspension bridge. It's very interesting to do something that's related, but yet different than what I normally do. Coming and seeing it in person just blows my mind. Um, to see the size of the towers that they're putting up, um, to know that the local community trucked everything in by foot, where we're struggling to lift some things, um, is just incredible. For someone who spends a lot of time looking through legislation and policy making and, and things like that, I'm very removed from the actual work that happens on the ground. And being able to come out here and not just learn how to build a bridge, knowing not how to do it at all when I started, um, and then also just being able to interact every day with people from the community and learn how they do things, it opens my eyes so much. I really love the uh, community here and the way they interact with us. After we go back, everyone gathers around us. Uh, kind of feels like, uh, like a celebrity, so I like it. I get to kind of finally use some of my stuff I learned throughout life, you know, to do something good. We are here to construct Monin Bridge, so the span will be 62 meters on top of Kaganda River. The bridge is connecting 2,600 people. Bridges to prosperity hired 30 local communities members for the construction of the bridge. Then the bridge will be connecting so the both uh, communities. I am very excited how NSBA team, they are very strong in working, sharing skills, sharing knowledge with the communities on, on this bridge. But actually getting to get a hands-on experience in building a bridge, that's something that's gonna be invaluable, but more than anything else, working with the community day in and day out, also getting the opportunity to share some of the expertise we have as a team to kind of help them in the next projects they come and the upkeep of this bridge. I've always been a person who's loved personal challenge, uh, a challenge to grow, to, to become a better version of myself, and these types of experiences are exactly that.
was an, uh, an amazing experience and it's gonna uh, change the way I see the whole world. Construct an entire structure uh, without any heavy equipment or machinery, uh, it's really broadened my perspective of what's possible. It's, it's simply amazing. We can say we built this suspension bridge essentially by hand. It's just amazing when a community comes together what they can actually do.